bring the dumb in the game trying to prove that you're real. And while you proving that you're real, you gonna finesse yourself out of position and out of opportunity that can change your family and generations in your family life. Y'all getting money that never got, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh man. And just to think what happened to Young Thug right now, getting arrested, getting locked up. He had his whole entire life ahead of him. You know, this, this channel is dedicated to help you think like a millionaire, strategize like a millionaire, so therefore you can become a first generation cash flow millionaire and stay there. And so if you're building your financial home, and it's built not on money and power and fame, but rather on values and principles. Finding out the right way to do things and seeking wisdom, it could fool you. What's cracking, everybody? Money Smart Guy, Matt Zapala here, hailing to you from Dallas, Texas. And in this episode, I'm reacting to the podcast called Million Dollar Worth the Game. Why? Because sadly, rapper Young Thug has been arrested for racketeering crimes, RICO charges, uh, gang activity. What a, what a great artist. And uh, by the way, what was your greatest song by Young Thug? For me, it's Havana. Please put your favorite song by Young Thug in the comment section below. But sadly, he's been arrested. Him and I think Gunna also got arrested too as well. But uh, going back about a year ago, Young Thug was on a podcast called Million, Dollar, Million Dollars Worth a Game, hosted by Wallow and Gilly the King. And uh, they're prophesying and sharing some wisdom and thoughts and ideas to Young Thug back then. And my team wanted me to respond to and react to that guidance and uh, interaction back then. Let's take a look at this. Everybody living life differently. The young do dumb shit. The old did dumb shit when they was young. Everybody do it. But it's like, now it's like, I tell you, yeah, I got it. I'm juiced up. I got By the way, this guy right here, uh, what a fascinating story. Um, arrested at 17 years old. He was arrested on armed robbery and a good majority of his life spent it in prison, locked up. And he dedicated himself not to be institutionalized by prison, but dedicate himself to personal development and learning and increasing his thoughts and wisdom and capacity and not be a part of the system and not be identified and labeled as part of the system, uh, being institutionalized in prison. And look at the way he's turned his life around. Got his own show here called Million Dollars Worth the Game, sponsored by Bar Stool Sports. Fantastic job. Him and uh, Gilly the King just tearing it up. <laughs> when I was before I it was the first of all, he got locked up at 10, then he got locked up at 12, then what, 15? I always got locked then up. Then 17. You went to jail when you was 10? Yeah. I went to jail when I was 11. 11. Why well, you burnt? Crazy, man. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Well, the hell you do? <laughs> I was, we was always robbing. It was always a rob game. Listen, man, I remember getting arrested as a kid, man, and uh, it was never a uh, happy moment. Please don't judge me. But uh, I remember getting arrested multiple times, and every time I, I spent time in the back of squad car, um, I never wanted that to be a regular thing. Um, and, and just to think that uh, guys get caught up in that life and think that it is, becomes regular, then it be, if they think it becomes regular and then they accept it as ordinary. Yeah. Listen, I'm going to be straight up, Doug. Like, a lot of us, man, we be... Uh, he did 20 years, then. Yeah, 20. I did five first, then I did 20. I did five in the juvenile system. I did 20 in the penitentiary. And I went to, so you really did wow. more time in prison than no, you I ever did on, did on, on the earth. Street, on the earth. Jeez, he spent more time in prison, locked up, then he's been, he says, on earth. Think about what your mindset will be. See, here's the thing too as well. For many of us that's not in the actual institution, you could be locked up mentally, financially, emotionally. You can be locked up and you can be imprisoned emotionally without ever having to take a step inside of jail. That's why a lot of times when some of y'all, <laughs> when some of y'all, when some of y'all young here that still, that still be living that shit, I don't be talking to y'all on Instagram as some square ass, lame ass. I'm talking to y'all as it had been in a prison yard, and see little young boy come in with his tattoos on his face, mm -hmm. and he like, oh, gee. I'm like, what's up? You know Keisha from where? They don't know, but that's your mom? Yeah. She said, could you call it? Call it. Man, yeah, yeah, he got a shooting. Then I go back, young boy, let me see your paperwork. He like, yeah, how much time? Like, when can I, when, I, when I'm going home? Shit. 2073. Cease. <laughs> And now is and now all the gangster shit gone, the homies gone. Done zero. Gone. Yep. Ain't nobody. So when I'm on there, I'm speaking from a place of trying to get into some real game. So think about that real quick. And I've been through the dumb stuff too as well. Many of us in our 30s and 40s, 50s have been through the dumb stuff. Some of us in our 30s, 40s, and 50s have been through the dumb stuff and not stopped the dumb stuff. And it's gonna catch up with you. And what 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 uh, what uh, what Wall is trying to tell you is he's been through that. He's trying to give you counsel. He's trying to give you wisdom. He's trying to say, listen, that might be glorified. The lifestyle that you think might be 
exciting and in and attractive and thrilling to you, it's cool until you get locked up. And next thing you know, your life is gone. The way you see life, the way you wanted to see life is gone. So what do you want to do? Risk it all? Or hey, listen to guys that have risked it all, avoid the mistakes, and avoid getting locked up to begin with. Life is about choices. Because I'm going to tell you some shit, thug. It's lonely than a motherfucker in there. Oh, come on. And when life goes on, your family dying. So when I'm seeing a young and I, you know, sir, hit me, I DM him and give him some game. I'll be trying to lay it on him because, like, I ain't the that's going to say, here, young, and take this pistol. Take this package. I ain't going to put you on no dummy mission. And the problem is so many are scared of y'all. I'm not scared of no young. Because I'm not coming at you in the wrong way. I'm coming at you the way your daddy ain't come at you, the way your, your, your uncle couldn't come at you because them niggas was dead in prison. So I ain't going to be on the gram talking some sucker shit to you just like I checked the young here. I don't know who it was. If you if, Like you rappers, like the artists, if you don't want to be an artist, take it to the streets. But don't bring the dumb shit in the game trying to prove that you're a fucking real and why you proving that you're a real you're going to finesse yourself out of position and out of opportunity that can change your family and generations in your family life. Y'all getting money that never got, thug. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. And just to think what happened to young thug right now, getting arrested, getting locked up. What does the article say? 56 count grand jury indictment in Georgia. He had, life as a, he had his whole entire life ahead of him. I'm reminded of a proverb in the good book, and it reads like this. Hopes placed in mortals die with them. All the promise of their power comes to nothing. The righteous person is rescued from trouble and it falls on the wicked instead. So it's often said that if you want to test a man, you want to test a woman, not only give them money, but more so give them fame and power. Because then the inside, the truth, the conversation behind closed doors, the conversation between buddies that you shouldn't have had friendships with start to come out because money and power, now you have the ability and capacity to actually act on some of the things that you're talking about. It's a dangerous thing to be talking about. Also further down in this proverb, it reads like this. For lack of guidance, a nation falls, but victory is won through many advisors. So put yourself in young thugs position. You're rising up. You got this money, you got this power, you got this fame. You got a whole studio of people Rocking together with you. You think everybody there is your friend? You think everybody there wants to hang with you just because of who you are or what you are? And what they're trying to glean from you for free versus, hey, you know, whatever I glean from you, I want to improve myself. Not just from an economic and financial standpoint, operate from a, sp a, from a spirit of just survivability. But man, I want to follow your steps, young thug. I want to follow your steps because I believe you're doing right. I think you're doing right. Not based on what you just can give me. And lots of times people put an entourage around them, surround themselves with people that remove money from the scenario, remove fame from the scenario. They're not hanging with you. They're not around you. And then you find that stuff out as Wallow, as Wallow here has been saying, you find that stuff out, the truth, when you're locked up and you're all alone. So when I'm speaking to, I'm speaking to young like, yo man, f if you ain't trying to hear I'm going to keep giving it to you. One day this he's, shit might catch you. Speaking but the don't truth, wait man. until Reality, it's too man. late and you, and you got that phone, that burner phone, and you on Instagram, and I done told you how your life going to go. And it going. And now you got 60 years. Your brother know what time it is. His life, that motherfucker right now could be sitting in the cell with a phone like that. I'm wondering right now what Young Thug is thinking right now. I wonder if Young Thug is thinking right now, damn, Wallace is speaking the truth, because what happened to Young Thug didn't just happen in the last six months, 12 months. This is years of stuff compounded. Listen, the, the Fed don't bring you down on RICO charge and racketeering charge because of, you, of one incident. They're gathering intel. They're gathering intel. They, they, they let years of undercover stuff go on. So therefore, they can gather over a period of time a body of work. So therefore, when they decide to bring arrest charges, warrants, storm the property, windbreakers on, they have a case that stands up in court. And with people of this stature, they got to put a lot on the table for the Attorney General of the United States of America to be able to say, you know what? These charges will stick and 
a body of evidence is going to be here. And no matter what type of rich attorney or attorneys that may be hired, they got to have some big guns to go up against the federal government. Hey man, my brother out there living the life. They out there living. He was in that cell. His life was almost gone. Was. Some, you know, for being a real Cause And you know what's so crazy? A lot of these young cats, they not being real it's because they real they being real because they feel as though if I don't be, come across as a real you don't think I'm so really be scared, thug. But a scared to kill you too. Uh, by the way, look at the reaction of the people behind him. He's hitting a chord with some people. Some people are covering up. He's like, yo, dog, he, he's dropping the truth. And I'll wrap up with this other proverb in terms of finding a direction for you to go. Same chapter. Deeper in the chapter, here's the verse. Whoever seeks good finds favor, but evil comes to one who searches for it. Those who trust in the riches will fall, but the righteous will thrive like a green leaf. Whoever brings ruin on their family will inherit only wind, and the fool will be servant to the wise. Listen, as it comes to money, as it comes to entrepreneurship, as it comes to making a name for yourself, things such as discipline, Knowledge, counselors, advisors, wisdom. These are all synonymous words that are also here to counterbalance wickedness, evil, greed, manipulation. Whatever you decide to feed or pay more attention to, that's where your money and attention will follow. And then you get the results that you get. And so when you're looking at navigating through your life. You know, this, this channel is dedicated to help you think like a millionaire, strategize like a millionaire, so therefore you can become a first generation cash flow millionaire and stay there. And so if you're building your financial home and it's built not on money and power and fame, but rather on values and principles, finding out the right way to do things and, not, and seeking wisdom, and wisdom is defined as knowledge times experience, and sometimes when you're younger and money's flooded your way, you think that, oh, dog, I know everything. I got everything. It could fool you into thinking that you know a lot about life when actually you don't. I've been there. The biggest person guilty of that is yours truly. I blew a lot of money in my life. I've often said I've spent my entire 30s to repay the mistakes of my 20s. And how sad it is sometimes that we got to go through that process. So you got two choices here. You either learn the hard way or you learn the wise way. Wise way means that your own natural dispositions, the, 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 the feeling that you have, your emotions, your hormones, whatever you got inside tugging you in the wrong direction, well, that is offset by the right people in the right environment around you. And I applaud Gilly and I applaud Walla for setting an environment here where they can invite the community in, they can invite fam in, now, West, now, who's really going to follow this advice? I don't know. Maybe 10, 20%. Because a lot of people are trapped up in things. So, for example, one of the most annoying things I do when I go on radio and TV and I'm reporting on the economy or what's going on in finance on the news is they tend to call people in America, they tend to call them, especially on a finance channel, consumers. 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 What do you, what do you, think, our, what do you think consumers should do? It's Black Friday. What do you think consumers are doing? Hey, what's going on in the economy today based on uh, supply chain? What do you think consumers are doing? I hate that word. I hate that word. So you're here to consume or are you here to produce? Are you here to manifest? Are you here to grow? Are you here to pay it forward? Are you here to become better? If there's something to produce, is to produce better character, produce better choices, produce better outcomes. Because only then, when we individually do it, because it doesn't matter how great a team is if they accept mediocrity, an individual can be playing balls out. But if everybody in the community, inside the team, accept mediocrity, it doesn't matter how great the person individually will do. It has to take a community effort, which I believe is what Wallow and Gilly are here doing with their show to make sure they're dropping a million dollars worth of game. A million dollars worth of game, in my opinion, isn't just a little sense of dropping a bag in the studio of actually cash, money, and credit, but it's also the knowledge and mindset, the, the attitude, the disposition of how to go about money. So. Praying for a young thug, regardless of uh, what you may feel about him. I hope the best outcome for him because he's making some killer music, man, and making a whole lot of people's lives better with his art 
and his talent. So with that being said, guys, let me know your thoughts, your questions, your comments. Put it in the comment section below. Before I let you go, there's a couple of reaction videos here I want you to check out too as well. And if you haven't done so already and you think this video has provided some value to you, please consider hitting that like button. If you watch a couple of our reaction videos and if you haven't done so already, please consider hitting subscribe and hitting notifications to be alerted the next time we upload our next episode. That being said, from Dallas, Texas, I'm your money smart guy. And until we meet again, continue to live smart, continue to love smart, and be money smart today.